I'm with Alan here, and this is how easy it is to actually move this machine then. And that's got a lot of balls in it, hasn't it? 300 balls. So. And I'm pulling it with one finger. <laughs> and I'm old and decrepit, <laughs> so I can pull this with one finger. So I'm going to put it in position and then show you the features of the machine. As you've seen, the main thing is portability. Yep. The handle will come down for storage and it's very, very easy to take across a grass lawn, for example, or gravel, right. which is important for private tennis court owners. Okay. But let me take you around the front of the machine and for you technical people, if I point in here, essentially these are two rubber wheels the ball drops down in between, the rubber wheels spin at a very fast rate and it kicks the ball out of the machine. So that's why you were saying the balls need to be a consistent pressure and a consistent size. That's correct. Because think... otherwise it reacts completely differently. Yep, if we take you around onto the top, you can see there's about 200 balls in here. It can actually hold 300 balls. So you can go out for a full session and not have to worry about picking up any balls. Yep. All right. Take you around to the control panel. And the reason why I chose this machine is from a cost point of view, it's very competitive, but it has a lots and lots of nice features. It actually will, and I'll use my finger to indicate the direction that the machine will go. It will go backwards and forwards, side to side, which is called horizontal, right. or oscillating as they call it. Right. It will go up and down, okay. and it will also do top spin and back spin. So you can get very, very sophisticated with this, or if you want, you can just have the ball going in one direction. So I'll just run through the panel, this is the actual, very, this is set at one ball every 7.8 seconds. As you can see, it's very, very oh, that's accurate. accurate. It? This is the only machine on the marketplace which has got a panel like this which lights up. Because the, the ones I've seen before have been the mechanical buttons. And all they're, mechanical. They're really, they're really quite inaccurate, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Not very good at all. We'll have to start again because I've switched the booking thing off. <laughs> 